welcome to another video in which we will talk about how to find a questionnaire or how to find the items for a questionnaire when you're conducting your research uh, if you have a survey based design which means if you're collecting your data through questionnaires you have to either adapt adopt or develop a questionnaire which can help you in data collection so if you do not understand these terms adapted, adopted and developed, you can watch the video uh, which is there on the right top corner. Uh, traditionally, we were using some methods like there were some websites which had some data in them. These websites had the database where you could search your relevant variable and then it used to give uh, the items for the variable, the definition of the variable and the reference. But the problem is most of those uh, websites are not working or they do not have enough uh, database to support what you're looking for. So there's an easy and a quick method in which we'll be using two tools. So one is obviously ChatGBT, which is open here and the other is Google Scholar. So Ch ChatGBT will help you in filtering the references uh, which you can use for your adapted or adopted questionnaire and then by going to Google Scholar you're going to download those papers or you're going to have a um, good look at them and see if uh, those items or the questionnaires are uh, exactly from that reference. Now uh, using ChatGPT uh, 3.5 will allow you uh, data which is not very current but most of the scales that you you'll be looking for they'll be available and uh, they've been created uh, many years ago so you won't have uh, that issue with chat gpt so it's important that you you ask it a, a very good question so for example if i need uh, my questionnaire or the items uh, of a variable which is organizational commitment. So what I'll type in the chat GPT is this kind of thing where I'm saying find a full questionnaire. Now this way it's going to give you all the items with all items of organizational commitment with reference. So you need to give it as much information as possible because then it'll it'll be easy for chat GPT to get you what you want. So I'm asking it for a full questionnaire. That's one thing. Uh, and then I'm asking all items within that questionnaire. And then what is the variable name? That's the organizational commitment. And this bit is very important with the references because this is where uh, we'll be confirming that are those items from the same reference or they're not. So let's click this and it'll give us some references and some items so now what it, it's doing is because organizational commitment uh, is an overall scale which is good but because it has further three types effective commitment continuous commitment and normative commitment so it has given us all the options if we're using one of these types of uh, organizational commitment that we can use uh, these scales but if, if we're using the overall commitment scale, uh, then we can use these items. But my very strong suggestion is do not take these items as it is. And uh, this is the scale that they've used. But I think the next step is the most important one. So once you have this complete reference with you, and I, I, I'll suggest do not only trust ChatGPT, just copy this reference from here, full reference, and then go to Google Scholar, type that reference here. So once you have uh, this, this paper with you, it will tell you to download. So if you, if you can see any PDF here or HTML, you can click this thing and it will download that paper for you. Now it will give you multiple options. For example, sometimes it opens the paper in, in another tab. Sometimes it asks you to download it on desktop or some other folder, but whatever is possible, just make sure that you download these papers and you're able to read them. In this case, uh, it has given me uh, a file to download, which I'll open. And all of those papers that are related to this scale are open here. So what I'm going to do is 
I'm just going to skim through these papers. First, make sure that it this paper is related to organizational commitment or the variable that you're looking for. Then just scroll down and see if you find any items related to the query. Most of the times you're going to find these items uh, in the methodology section, uh, but most probably towards the end in the lectures or uh, sometimes when they've conducted the factor analysis, they're going to give you those items in the analysis part. So we'll just skim through and see if we have those items here. For example, if you don't find those items in one paper, then you can go to another paper. So we have one more paper, which is talking about uh, organizational commitment here. Just scroll down and see if you can find those items here. As we said that most of the times they're available in the methodology or in the data analysis section. So just scroll down and see uh, generally, if they have conducted CFA or EFA, exploratory factor analysis or confirmatory factor analysis, you're going to have those uh, items here. So they because they've measured many variables, so they've got workplace hazing. And then if you keep scrolling, employee resilience. But what we are looking for is organizational commitment. So effective organizational commitment is here. So if you look at this, and if you're using effective organizational commitment, then you're going to take these items and you can use them. The same way you can go to another paper and see if this paper has the items that you're looking for. And if we scroll down, uh, it might give us some items related to organizational commitment. And so here in this table, we've got item scales for effective commitment. These are the items, eight items and then continuous commitment. And then we have items for normative commitment. So this is how you can be very sure that this scale or this questionnaire has been used by uh, these authors. Then without worrying about anything, you can give the reference of these people and you can say that you have adapted or adopted the scale uh, for your questionnaire. And the good thing about uh, finding it this way is one that is very quick. Uh, what ChatGPT does for you is it, it helps you in narrowing down uh, those one or two or three papers which has those items or which have used uh, the scale. And then you can find the scale. Otherwise, if you directly go to Google Scholar, it will take you a lot of time to identify which paper has the items and which paper doesn't have the items. So this way, using ChatGBT with Google Scholar can be a much efficient way of finding uh, your items when you're using it for your questionnaire. So to summarize, in order to look for a questionnaire, go to ChatGBT, give it a good question with all the details that you're looking for, then get the reference from here, type it in Google Scholar, go to that paper and see if you can find those items there. That's all for this video. I'll see you in some other video again. Thank you very much.